I think from what happened last time, I'm a bit out of practice in both the game and commentating. Chapter 1 Infiltrate Giga City. Okay, let's not have any fails this time. Yo yo, YouTubers, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X Command Mission. Last time we we got started with the game, we arrived here at the. What's this place called again? La Grano Ruins. Okay, whatever. So we arrived here because there, there's some unusual energy going on out here. And it ain't good. I've arrived in the central room, but I don't see anything here. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna stop reading all the text here. I you know, another Prion. I think it's payback time, buddy. Okay, since this is an RPG, I'm gonna be cutting out all the all the um, random battles that you obviously don't need to see. You know, just to save your time, I'm just cutting it out for you and all that stuff. So, apparently except for this battle, I'm cutting it all out. However, if we run into a new enemy, I'll keep that in. So yeah, and X is now level 3. That's nice, we don't have to heal. Yeah. Oh, come on, I was right there. Okay, there's another Prion. I don't know, I don't know all the varieties of Prions, but this one in particular can summon Bits, whatever those are. Um, bits, they're kind of like uh, miniature enemies. Um, these guys always summon the Bits whenever they're outnumbered or something. It's almost like their very first move, so... Expect to find a lot more of these guys. Okay, here we go. Bit shift. There's the little bit. Or bit in this case. Now the bit... Well... They're always up in the air, so chances are you might miss your shot. Or at least generally with me with aerial enemies, I miss my shots. That's very annoying. Okay, back up and build shield. That's good. I'm actually going to use that right now for X. Just to increase his shield. You know, so we can take more, um, more shot attacks. Okay, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing some, some quick grinding for a bit. Just to make this upcoming battle a little easier. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. Okay? See you then. Okay, and we are back. Sorry for taking a while. What am I apologizing for? I cut all that out, didn't I? What is the matter with me? Oh well. Uh, something I forgot to mention about Force Metal. You see where it says Immunity? 11, 11 greater than 3? Well, most Force Metal take, uh, like, Erosion. It's, it's kind of like Batch Points, you might say. You can, actually can exceed the Immunity number, but that does lead to... That can lead to trouble. I've never done that, and I and I advise you not to try it yourselves. I'm sure it ain't pretty. So yes, we're currently at level five right now, or X is in this case, and we're finally ready to enter this room. Well, you know, if it ain't Zero, it's about time he showed up. Now Zero joined the party, just in time for a real party. Who the heck is this? This is the boss of Chapter 1, Hippopressor. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Hippopressor, uh... As goofy as it looks, he's... He's that? He can be a little tough if you're not, not used to controls yet. Okay, now we have Zero on our team. And what we're listening to is Zero's theme. Very nice, too. Okay, Zero. No, he's, he, he usually uses um, combat attacks, since he still has the Z Saber, after all. Which, if, my, which if memory serves, is actually Sigma's Saber from the first Mega Man X game, X1, I believe. So it's kind of weird how Zero has that. Oh, well. Anyway. Z Zero sub-weapons are the Micro Missile, which X had before, and Heat Haze. Heat Haze, which I shall demonstrate now, uses 25 weapon energy, 
but can create an illusionary double of, of himself, so it'll do extra damage. Okay, Hippopressor will keep charging up that Shark Missile. The best thing to do is to try and get rid of it before it has a chance to fire. For the time being, have X and attack the attack the missile while Zero takes care of Hippopressor. A crack has appeared in Hippopressor's head. That is the signal that it can that it can now take more damage to shot attacks. Right now, at, the shot moves won't won't do very much against Hippopressor, so your best bet is to keep keep using combat moves against him. I'd advise you not to not to spam the use of weapon energy too much. See? Protect it from, from shot damage. We'll just have zero destroy the head. And we're practically golden, but for the time being it's not up yet. Huh. It's time to switch to X-Fire. Yes, like I said, all characters have a hyper mode, including Zero. Now, Zero doesn't gain armor like X, but he gains something that's rather, um, well, easily recognizable. Now, every time the Shark Missile is destroyed, Hippopressor will keep bringing it back. So be sure to take it out as fast as you can. If you can hit it. Now, one thing about the action triggers, you actually cannot cannot use them unless you're at 50% weapon energy. And that's the best time to use it. Right now we're at 100%, that means we'll be at max power here. This one's gonna hurt. Okay, I'm actually gonna heal with zero here, because I don't think even he can take out the shark missile in one shot. There we go. And here comes the shark missile. This one's gonna do a good amount of damage, that's for sure. Now that Hippopressor's head is destroyed, that, that means now we can take more um, weapon damage. Okay, now to show Zero's hyper mode. Black Zero. No, I don't mean that racistly. I mean that, well, it should be obvious now. Black Zero. Now, Zero's action trigger is called um, Command Darts, I believe. Should be self-explanatory. The more weapon energy you have, the more time you'll have to do the commands. That's a lot of damage. And that's every Hippopressor! That was rather fast. Now, now these results here. It shows, how, shows what enemy you destroyed, what the finishing blow was, how many turns you've taken, and the bonus in experience. I believe the bonus in experience is, depends on how fast you defeat the boss. So if you want, if you want, if you want a big bonus in experience, beat the boss as fast as you can. Hardly a fight. And yes, at the, at the end of each battle, when you have more than one um, one party member, the one who makes the finishing blow has a, has something to say. For Zero, it was hardly a fight. And of course, with X, it's, well, he did it. Alright, that's it for the boss, but we still got more of this place to investigate. Uh, investigate, I mean. Now here we have more force metal. Power plus one and speed plus one. I'm gonna give those to X for the moment. Because from what's about to happen next, let's just say Zero won't be around for a while. Okay, Zero, the traditional Z Saber, Heat Haze, and Micro Missile. I don't know why I'm showing you this. But yeah. Oh, by the way, now that you have a party member, Formation is um, now unlocked. Basically, Formation will, will um, change position on where each character is. It's nothing really all that major right now, but it will be later on. Okay, pink. Here we have tank parts. The tank parts are basically for sub-tanks. See, now we have a, a quarter of a tank. However, since it's not a whole tank, it's not really... We can't use it, so... The max we can still go is 200%. And we got more of these guys again. Let's show off Heat Haze again. 
Just for the sake that everyone loves Zero, including me. Why do you suppose why do you suppose my username is White Blade Zero? Did it ever occur to you? You know, I totally overlooked something. We have a new weapon for X, the Guard Buster. Now, as time goes on, you'll be able to find more weapons. Generally, they'll increase your power, armor, and shield, but lower speed. I think the sacrifice is worth it. So the Guard Buster is, gotten, is a bit stronger than the X Buster, and yeah, I think you get the memo. Okay, maybe now I can show X's um, action trigger a bit easier this time. Charge shot! Now! Yeah. Well, that honestly didn't do much. Okay, cutting out the rest of this. Well, then again, the, that, and that blue dog there, he can restore life energy to his, for either himself or his partner, so. Just be aware of that. Okay, now we are cutting. Quite literally. Okay, we got another new item. This, this is clear vision. This heals blinding. Blind is kind of like the loss of accuracy, you might say. And hacking here, which I got off screen during the um, leveling up of X, it'll, it'll make, an, make an enemy go berserk. Which, mean, which means it'll, it'll, it'll most likely automatically attack or, da or damage a, a party member or itself. Um, I don't like using the hacking. I just think it's worthless in this case. Okay, I believe once we go beyond this door, it'll be the end of the chapter. So next time on Mega Man X Command Mission, we, we will be tackling Chapter 2. So until next time, YouTubers, on that note, I take my leave. Enjoy the cutscenes. Shadow, are you okay? Yeah. But look. Huh? Epsilon? Indeed, it is I, Epsilon, the Rebellion Army Commander. Well, well. So the great commander came out just to greet us? I have heard many things about you. The great Maverick Hunters. X and Zero. You truly are elite reprobates. Won't you fight alongside us? Fight for a common vision. Shut your trap, Maverick! You're in no position to make offers. This is three versus one, buddy. Oh, but is it? Uh. Shadow? No way! Shadow is a believer. He understands our goals. I'll ask again. Whose side are you on? Okay, Epsilon. My answer is... Ugh! This! Zero! Silence. Show the commander some respect. Zero! Behind you! Zero! Uh. Ah! Zero! Uh. Whoa! Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Join us, X. I don't care what your vision is. You're still a bunch of mavericks. 
And as you know, I am a maverick hunter. Shadow, I can't forgive you. <laughs> Why, you? You won't get away! Let him go. He will be back. My subjects, the time has come to show the world our vision.